Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another review. Today we're going to get started on the Valiverse Action Force. I believe this is the special deployment Swarm Sentry. This is a recolor of the Swarm Trooper. And the Sentry is it's like a mid-boss, right? You you aim for those. Uh, you've beaten my squad, so now I'm your squad commander. You have to beat me now. It's like an RPG, which I'm totally fine with. Because that's how I relate to these things. And I absolutely adore it. Uh, and the reason why I'm reviewing this is because... I'm trying to step away from recolors, but I absolutely love scarabs and I love swarms. But more importantly, I want to talk about one of the things that I've really enjoyed is that uh, we were all having tightness issues in wave one when I, I didn't get a chance to review some other soldiers I wanted to review. But th th this colorway just really stood out to me. It's crazy because the the joints on this one is so much smoother than that of the series one that I wanted to make sure I did a video and I talked about it. You guys knew where I stood with it. Um, I'm trying to do more stuff like that because my time schedule really does not allow me to revisit certain things. So if I get a chance to talk about it and do it, I want to make sure I can. Um, and it's crazy because the the tabbing, the, the stiffness, even with heating it up, I didn't have too much of an issue. But right out the box, since wave two, the Valiver stuff has been ready to go. And now articulation wise, we are still sharing all the previous articulation that we talked about whereas we have a great head lift up we can just go left and right i think once we get to a little bit more of the rocking each side oh no it's it's actually there now at least in the swarm sentry helmet so i don't have no issues we have a beautiful butterfly joint as you can see here we're gonna raise it up now i think this is the only thing where i gotta be careful with and that's raising it up to get to a point for a t-pose but you, you can actually get there without chipping the paint. But that's probably the stiffest and most difficult joint. Otherwise, everything else is literally smooth as hell. Like, look at that. That rotating rocker. We have a beautiful arm joint, a beautiful double joint. Our legs can hit the 90 degree. We have a little bit of a drop down. We have a thigh swivel as well. We are double jointed. And we have beautiful ankle pivot. Now, as far as revisiting it, like this has been... A really nice thing to go around and just really just pose these guys up because they move like a unit so I'm gonna have them swarm sentry probably like lead the unit or do some some, some nicely colored shots because this gold actually really stands out but I love it and it still can use the flight pack oh I left the knife behind so I'll put that back but it still can use the flight pack as well so you can also hit flight poses with the way that it holds up right let's say we can get in some flight poses now in case you haven't had a swarm pack and you want to see how it looks with it right let's pop this swarm pack in let's find that groove and there we go in the back put those wings out like i said it's really nice this is still a really nice unit i've i've thoroughly enjoyed this line and i'm very happy to be a part of it I didn't get everything from every line, but I'm I'm definitely gonna try going forward as this line continues to improve. Yeah, if you're wondering what kind of accessories that it does come with, let's jump into that. See you guys in a so let's jump into it. Now, all Valiverses come with a base. It's the action force. I left mine in there. I don't really use them because I, I go crazy with the posing, so they never actually end up standing on those bases. But they do look nice. We do get a his sidearm. Oh, I've dropped it. <laughs> so we do get a sidearm. This is, it looks like a futuristic pistol, but it's not, I am not sure what type of pistol this is, but it is very nice. And Valiverse effects do plug in easily inside. These effects do not come with it, but I do want to state that I, I've had a bunch of the effects and they actually look really good in there. And you can store this on the right hand side. No problem. As you saw earlier, you saw the knife. Let's actually pop that back in. We have our knife. It can be sheathed back here, no problem. And it holds in sturdy, just like the rest of the figure. Then we have our vector. Is it a vector? I believe it's a vector. I'm, I'm trying to learn these. And this one has a long barrel. I'm not sure if that's a silencer or not. I'm trying to learn the terms. But yeah, the gold and black scheme really do it for me. I really like it. I like this weapon, the way it looks. No extended magazine, because I believe the magazine is here. So I really like this design, the butt stock. Then we will get our two trigger fingers. 
one thing I say, I'm very happy that they always come with universal in case you want to make them left or right handed. Being ambidextrous, uh, I feel like I'm always left out. So here we are with two trigger hands. You will get dedicated item slash knife holding hands. And you will get the the rifle holding hand for like a barrel cupping hand. I should say more like a cupping hand. You can also use these for martial arts as well, as well too. Now, with that being said, that's our basic stock that we come with with the item. Now we're going to jump into size comparisons. Let's do Now we're going to jump into the size comparisons. All right. First things first, let's compare to the special color swarm. Right? And then we're going to compare to in a regular swarm. And you can see, my guys, we, we've gone through some color changes, and I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. And like I said, I really like this helmet because you had the see-through optics. The swarm is like that solid color. I would have loved for it to have that ventilation there that, that you can see through, that light piping. But I really just like pairing these three together, and I can't wait to take a photo of them together. I'm super excited about that for no reason because I'm a nerd. <laughs> and I can't wait because... I love this. Like, this is a genius design. You got my, my Beast Wars reference to Waspinator. You have your black and gold, like, like kind of like a gold bug. And then you got your Bumblebee. But it's still funny. Like, I, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, but don't worry about that. Next up, going to compare to a G.I. Joe Viper. As I have Vipers out with me. Right? And he's a little hunched over. I got to fix his legs because he's, he's needing some repairing. But when you see him next to a Valiverse, these guys are a little bit taller, but most Joes vary in size. But I like that. I like that there's a difference in them, right? And then still from over on my uh, my Alien review, here's a Mezco Me uh, with a face hugger on front. It's on a Gomez body, so you can see how tall I am. Here we are with a Marvel Legends scroll. Ooh, let's lean back just a little bit, buddy. There we go. And then uh, here we are with a black series. All right. So yeah, as you can see, the Valver stuff is actually in scale with like Mezco and Hasbro stuff. These guys are a little bit bigger, a little bit buffer. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Nice little bits of difference. Here we are with an SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga. All right. And if you want to compare to a Mythic Legions or a NECA, here is a Mythic Legions Unknown one. As you can see, he scales out pretty well with him. And then here we are with a NECA T800. I believe this from the Robocop version. But yeah, I like that these guys size out. They fit in with everything. They're not too big, not too tall, but also have the, the right amount of buffness that you can kind of fit them in anywhere. But everyone knows I love army builders. I love building army builders. I love adding lore that doesn't exist to them because it's just fun as hell. So the Swarm Sentry being my, my mid-boss, who I'm, I'm probably going to add it to the title, one of my favorite color mid-bosses, I'm, I'm here for it. I am. And I hope they continue to make more color variants like this. So Bobby, if you do watch this, uh, if you make any other special ones, I hope that I know in advance so I can get a squad of three because uh, I appreciate these color variants, man. And it's nothing crazy, but I just enjoy that kind of stuff. And um, thank you to everybody who's been watching my stuff. And if you come for cat content... Uh, Itchy goes in the background right now trying to look for his uh, save point which is what we put down Blankets for him because you know he's blind but um, thank you for watching enjoying uh, being here just in general even if it's only here for 30 seconds appreciate it and as always guys please be good do good drink your water guys later